Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, here we are going to discuss on how to create a 2307 using the BIR Alpalis version 6.1 and how to use the BIR Alpalis version 6.1. Okay, so it's now we will start. First, uh, dapat i-download muna natin siya uh, dito sa website ng bir.gov.ph. Tapos, i-click po natin yan. Pagkatapos nun, madown, pagkatapos niya ma-download, okay, dito po yan. Ito po yan. Tapos, i-extract po natin ito. Pagkatapos po natin ito i-extract, dapat ito na po yung lalabas niya. Tapos, i-click po natin yan. Pag i-click po natin yan, uh, ito po. Tapos, hanapin natin yung may logong fax. Okay? Click po natin ito. Guys, the default password po is BIR, BIR lang po. Ayan. Okay po. So, first, ang una po natin titingnan yung withholding agent po. Ilagay po natin lahat ng information ng withholding agent. Okay? So, ayan po. So, edit po natin. Guys, tandaan po, uh, ito po yung mga nakalagay dito ay mga confidential po. Pero po yung, mga, yung ginagawa po natin ay for practice or purposes only. Kaya po lahat ng mga nilalagay ko dito ay gawa-gawa po lamang. Okay? So, guys, if napanood na po yung video ko nung una, uh, same information lang din po yung ginamit natin dito. Okay? So, example, in our example, we will use the RD of code 49. Okay? And then the T number 009-988-912. And the 00. Category of withholding agent. Guys, dalawa po ito. Depende po. If the withholding agent is government, then we will use the government. If the withholding agent is private, then we will use private. Okay? In our example, we will use private. Line of business. Restaurant. Uh, registered name. GNG Corporation. Guys, tandaan. Lahat ng ito makikita naman po ito sa CUR. So, ito, ito po. Depende po. Uh, if the withholding agent is non-individual, then we will use the registered name shown in the CUR. If the withholding agent naman is individual, then we will use the last name, first name, middle name, and telephone number or cell phone number shown in the CUR. Okay? Then the registered business address, type po natin. Ayan. Tapos authorized representative, then save. Guys, if you wish to edit some information, then click here the edit. And then if you finish, then click save here. Then okay na po yan. Close. So guys, ito po. Dito tayo next sa cap forms. Dalawa po itong cap forms. First, we have the 1601E. Okay. And the 1601F. Okay. Pero now guys, ang gagamitin natin ito 1601E. Okay. Example, we will use here for the month of May. Okay. Which is fall under the second quarter. Right. Okay. Add an update. Yan. Okay, ito po may example na ko dito. Example po yung supplier natin is si AG Corporation. So ito po ilalagay po natin yung TIN identification number ng supplier natin, tapos yung registered name if the supplier is non-individual and then the last name, first name and middle name if the supplier is individual, okay? So example we for Chase uh, services to G Corporation, then we will use the WC uh, 120. Okay. Ito po yung alphanumeric tax code. So, depende po ito. Kapag si supplier po natin is non-individual, then we will use the WC. Okay? If the supplier naman natin is individual, we will use the WI. Okay? So, in our example, we will use uh, WC 120 because we purchase goods to the uh, supplier. Okay? So, here. So, So I just want to show this one. So, if we purchase goods to supplier here, we will use the battable sales, but then the withholding tax 2%. The ATC, WC 120, if individual, WI 120, okay? So, remember, the withholding tax is based on the battable sales, okay? So, balik na po tayo dito. So, pagkatapos natin i-type dyan yung payment, in amount of income payment, then the tax rate 2%. Amount of student din, si-save na po natin. Now guys, if we want to generate the 2307, just click here, the form 2307. Tayin lang po natin. So, ito na po yun. Okay. So, edit lang natin ng konti. Okay. Ito po. Tingnan nyo po dito. For the period from, so guys, this is for quarterly basis. So, May is fall under second quarter, right? So, 
second quarter start on April. Okay, lagay natin April. And then ends on June. Lagay natin dito. Okay. So guys, titingnan niyo po ito na po yung magiging itsura niya. Yan po. Yan po dito. Dito po wala pong nakikita, nawawala po. So okay lang po 'yan. So gagawin po natin, okay lang po ba? Emerge natin. Tas erupt text. Tas off natin. So yan, okay na po. So may, so yan po. Based on our example, nilagay po natin siya sa May. Tama po ba? Tapos May is under second month of the quarter, right? So ilagay po natin dito. Quarter. Then yun na po. Tapos na po. So, baba natin. So, okay. so pagkatapos po nito, isisip po natin siya as PDF. Tapos, save. Okay, wait lang po. Saglit lang po. So, yan na po yung uh, so, yan na po yung magiging itsura niya. Tama? Okay. So, ito, prior period from uh, April to June and then uh, second month of the quarter. So, ipiprint na po natin guys into two copies. Okay. The, pagkatapos natin ipiprint, papipirmahan po natin sa authorized signatories ng withholding agent and then yung isa ibibigay natin dun ni supplier. Okay po? So, okay. So, balik tayo. Pagkatapos nyan, exit na po natin yan. So, now, Pagkatapos yan, kailangan na po natin mag-gumawa uh, ng schedule, okay? So, alpha list. Okay. First, here, uh, we'll type here the uh, 06 because this for second quarter. 06 yung end of second quarter. And then, yeah, that's it. Gin. Okay. Excel report. So, okay, wait lang po natin sa glit. Yan, ito na po yung magiging resulta niya. Ayan. So guys, ito po, imumove na po natin at pagkasya natin sa isang papel. Yung mga hindi naman po relevant, pwede naman po natin yun i-hide. Okay? Hanggang makakasya po yan sa isang papel. Okay? Pagkatapos yan, ipiprint po natin yan into three copies and then i-attach po natin dun sa uh, 1601E. Okay? So, itan po yun. Tapos, balik tayo dito. It's back. Okay? Pagkatapos na po natin sa mapiprint, So, i-generate na po natin yung file, okay? So, ito po, sundan po ako. So, first, ito po, for the end of the second quarter, June, okay? Test amended return? No. With tax, any tax withheld? Yes. If meron, if wala, then no. Uh, other pay is availing tax relief under special law? No. If, if meron, then yes. Okay, then generate na po natin. Click generate. A, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, successfully. Okay na. So, pagkatapos nyan, balik po tayo dun sa ano, sa main folder natin. Dito po. So, hanapin na po natin yung validation. Yan. Ito po sa baba. Yan. Ito na po yung magiging itsura niya. So, ano po yung i-validate natin? 1601E. So, babrowse po natin yun. Dito po yun sa baba. Ayan. Okay. Tapos for the main of June. And then, validate file. Okay. Ayan. So, pag na-validate na po, ito po yung maging itsura niya. Katapos po, uh, isasubmit na po natin sa uh, BIR through email. Okay po? So, that's the end of discussion. I hope na may naintindihan kayo. Okay. So, guys, if you like my video discussion, then please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more updates okay thank you